All right, Mr. H back for topic number two here as we work our way through some stuff here. Another part you're going to be seeing in your geometry classes here throughout the, the rest of the semester is going to be talking about circles with arcs and angles. Lots of circle stuff coming. So we got to keep that in mind as we're working through here. So as we start to look at these angles and arcs and how we name them and things like that, a couple little details that can help you out quite a bit when you're trying to do some of these. One of them is when you're naming an arc made by the given angle, if you have the capability of changing colors on things, usually it can be quite a help. So here, B, Q, U. You're just following the letters right as they go. Okay. The arc that I'm looking for is the arc that gets trapped there. Now, typically, when you're asked to find the arc made, you're looking for the shortest or the smallest way to get from one to the other. So I like hear... This is the fastest way I can complete my slice of the pizza, my slice, my slice of the pie. And then all you do to name it is you name the letters. And it doesn't matter which order you do them in. So here I could do V U with an arc over it. Arc. Okay. Put U V. Again, it's fine. And that's really all there is to it. You're like, so really? Okay. That that's not bad. So the only difference is going to be sometimes they're going to throw one word in on you. And we've got to be cautious of that. And that one word that can get thrown in is major arc. Okay. Sometimes you'll even see the word minor arc used for just regular arc. But here, major just means, hey, I want to find the biggest possible arc for what's going on. So what's that mean? Well, here on number two, it says major arc for IQK. Okay, so I... UK. Now on a normal arc, we would do the shortest distance between the two, and we'd be looking for this right here. But that's not what a major arc is. The major arc means take the largest way to get from one end of this to the other. So we're going to go around the other way. Okay, It's just the longer way. And just like we did before, we're just going to start and we're going to say, okay, what letters do we have? We've got I, we've got L, we've got K. So if you're going through multiple letters to get there, as you can see, you can get multiple letters. I just don't want to say IK. Well, why not? Well, IK could be coming this way. Or it can be coming this way. So by putting the L in there, you're letting the people know, oh, it's this bigger side that I'm doing. And just like before, if you went K-L-I, that would be okay. We just want to make sure they stay in order, no matter which way that we're doing it, as far as those go. Okay? So, one more, just to make sure we got this idea of major arc set. Okay, number three. Major arc for G-Q-H. G-Q-H. Now, normally, G-H would be my, my arc, but again, major means the bigger one. So we're going to take the long route and we'll work our way around here. And again, pick the way you want to go. Normally what I'll do is I'll start with whatever letter they started with here. So here for my arc, I got, let's see here. Now, do I have to write G, F, E, H because there's every single one in there? Not really. I mean, would it be wrong? Technically, no, but that's not something that we normally do. We do two or three letters. You're like, well, how do you choose then? We got to make sure we get the first letter. We got to make sure we get the last letter. And then you can pick either one in between. So you could do G-E-H. You could do G-F-H. Either one of them are telling me, oh, I'm going around the long way here to get there. Okay, so we prefer to keep it to three. But if you go beyond that, you know, things happen. So that's our arcs. Okay, just labeling them. We'll do some stuff with calculating them a little bit further down the road. But for now, we're, we're going to roll it this way. On the other side, we are going to be taking a look at the central angle of the arc. Now, on the other side, you'll notice we were given... The arc notation, excuse me, the angle notation, we found the arc. Now we're doing the opposite. Now we have the arc, and we're trying to find the angle. 
So, when we're naming the central arc, the central arc, oh my goodness, Hardy, it's been too long of a day. Name the central angle, we're going to have three letters, okay? We're going to have our vertex, the letter in the middle, and then we're going to have the two outer ones that are telling us what this looks like. So, we're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. We're going to copy, in this case, the arc, so T, V, U. Now, what type of arc is that again? Major arc, okay? That would be a major arc. But to name the central angle of it, we're just going to follow. From one side, we're going to follow our way into the middle to our vertex. And then we're going to follow back to the outside to where our arc ends. And then we're just going to name the angle. So we could name this angle TQU. Or we could name this angle UQT. But Q has to be in the middle. Vertex, always in the middle. Notice Q is in the middle of both of these. And that's all I'm really looking for as far as this goes. So our biggest key with any of these is going to be making sure we connect the right parts in the original arc that we're given. So here we got UV. Okay, so you follow towards V. You're like, okay, Hardy, I, I've got a question for you. Oh boy. How do I know if I was going this way or this way to get from U to V? Remember what we talked about on the front. If we're not told otherwise, okay, or if we don't have a third letter telling us, we assume, okay, that we're going to use, so here we would use our minor or our regular arc. If they give us three letters, that's typically going to be a major, okay? Maybe not every time, but a lot of the time. But here, if we're not sure, always go with the shorter, okay? Minor arc is always going to be the shorter distance of them. So here, again, same thing. To get my angle, pick a side to start. U, go to the middle. Q, go to the edge. V, or you could go VQU. Same thing. Same thing. So one more, just to make sure, again, we're on the right track. Again, two letters, assume minor, assume short arc. Three letters, like we have here in 12, we're going to assume H, I, J. Yep, that's a major. And again, to make your angle, start at H, head to the middle. There's my vertex, Q. Maybe we use Q a lot for the vertex. Oh, Hardy, it actually helps if you go to the end of the graph. Sorry about that. H, Q. J. And that's it for these, okay? So you've got a few more. Um, if you actually end up looking at this tonight, since I'm, I'm doing this in the evening, um, it'll probably be the morning before I can get the key up here, but I will have the, the worksheet and this video up here as soon as possible. So hope you're doing well. Um, do send questions. If you're having questions in your regular geometry class, um, I'd be happy to help you out with those or even pop a video if we need to on this. And otherwise, I will be seeing you Wednesday for a little bit of encouragement in place of our 3Q days on Wednesdays. See you then.